Hi everyone, welcome to module two. In module two, we're going to be focused on unemployment and inflation. So we're going to build on module one where we focused on GDP. When we look at unemployment and inflation, this is going to be a very important section for the foundation of economics. For this week, we're going to be focused on how inflation and the level of unemployment can influence decisions that are made in the market. There are many decisions that are made in the market, and when you look at the economy, the unemployment rate is a good gauge for how the economy is doing. And it creates a lot of uh, instability when the unemployment rate is increasing and decreasing for that matter. For this week, we're going to be reading chapters 8 and 9 right here. You have the PowerPoint slides, you have information more than the PowerPoint slides, and you have some other additional information that I've gotten for you. Then you're going to look at the final project milestone one, the macroeconomic data report. So for this, you're going to research three sections of your final projects as they relate to the 10-year historical period that you choose in module one. So GDP, unemployment, inflation, infl interest rate fluctuations. You're going to create about a four to six presentation slides. You want to read over the guidelines, the milestone one guidelines and the rubric, and make sure that you're covering all the critical elements of the assignment. If you'd like, I'm more than willing to pre-grade your work as well, as that can give you a good gauge to what you're doing and how you're doing. Here's a template that you can use that I recommend you using for your efforts. I think that will make it much easier for you. For the My Econ Lab, you have Module 2 Homework. You'll have two attempts. I'm sorry, you have three attempts to complete the homework, and I'll take the highest of those attempts. And then you also have the discussion board for this week. So make sure to focus on really the development of your work, looking at those milestones. And when you look at those milestones, make sure to look at and let me go to the guidelines right here. We can go over those. I take that back. You don't have a discussion board for this week. So the mile... Stone one guidelines. So choose a 10 year period between 1950 and today, analyze the GDP rate, analyze the unemployment inflation rate. So, first tell us what the rate is during that time period, and then what trends that you found during that rate. So, use the template that's provided, create a four to six slides. And here's going to be your guides to those slides. This will be very helpful. So each slide, just basically look at this and evaluate these questions as your subheadings. Don't go over the four to six slides, but make sure to use AP formatting for your efforts. So any information that you get from outside sources, make sure to include this. If you need me to review your work or see how you're doing, please let me know, as I'm more than willing to assist, but I look forward to your effort.